Dr. Jaffe, we know that the ideal first morning urine pH should be between 6.5 and 7.5. How does that relate to the areas in the body that thrive at a different pH? Um, the stomach, for example, at an acidic pH. How can we explain that? Well, we explain that by understanding physiology. When you look at the pH of the urine, that's in relation to the blood, in relation to whether you have excess acid in the blood that the kidneys should get rid of. What about the stomach? The stomach should be a pH of one. The stomach should be very acidic. In fact, one problem today is that very often the stomach is under functioning and not producing enough acid. This is why we recommend acid producing L-histidine and digestive bitters to go along with the stomach function. Now stomach function should produce an acidic chyme. Chyme is what comes out of the stomach. And if this is acidic, it stimulates bicarbonate and digestive enzymes to be released by the pancreas into the small intestine, raising the pH of the small intestine to neutral. In fact, maybe a little bit above neutral. Different portions of the intestine, three portions of the small intestine, different portions of the large intestine. And then there's the rectum. The rectum connects the large intestine with the outside world. But the rectum actually embryologically comes from the kidneys. So what is important is to have physiology at all levels of digestion and every other level too. So for example, the skin should be neutral, but if there is excess acid, it will get excreted in urine, in stool, and in sweat. Sometimes the skin indicates the excess acid. More importantly, you can check the pH in the morning of the urine after rest, and it should be between six and a half and seven and a half. For every half pH unit, it is lower than six and a half. You add an extra dose of magnesium choline citrate. So you have two doses baseline and additional doses if the pH is uh, too acidic. On the other hand, if it is alkaline, above 7.5 consistently, if the strip is blue instead of green or sandy, that could be catabolic illness. And we should talk about catabolic illness separately because it's a very different condition than metabolic acidosis. So we want the different pH levels of the body to be optimized for that portion of the body. In the case of the stomach, we would want it to be very acid, but the stomach acidity does not influence the systemic acidity, the plasma acidity, the urine acidity. No. Each of those deserves to be attended to, to be optimized in the way in which we do by eating what you can digest, assimilate, and eliminate without immune burden by stimulating repair so that at every level, the pH is what the pH should be. So you know very little about what's going on in the stomach when you know what's going on in the urine. But you know an awful lot about the physiology, you know a lot about the body and how the body is responding. And that's the magic, that's the interpretation, that's the understanding that comes from checking morning urine pH 
after rest.